Hi guys, so today or this morning, uh, I'm gonna be making these taiyaki for my kids. And I do have the kind that, uh, the iron that you use on the stove, which I haven't even tried yet because, you know, my kitchen just got redone. Um, but I had purchased this one on eBay for like 20 bucks. Somebody said it was new and they probably opened it, looked at it, it's not used, but it's not, you know, new in box, like completely brand new. I had it, it was already open, I could tell. But, um, so that's kind of cool, because uh, they do run a little higher than, you know, 20 bucks if you're trying to look for one, like, uh, on Amazon or anything else. But um, normally you fill them with, like, a uh, red bean paste or something like that, and um, I don't have any of that right now, and that's not normally something I would have here, even though I do like a lot of different, like, uh, treats and Asian treats and stuff. But, um, so I'm going to use hazelnut spread, or Nutella, this is bunk Nutella there, um, and bananas. And then I have um, some crusties, light and fluffy buttermilk pancake mix, only because it only takes water and milk, so it's quick to put together. But you can make, it's not gonna be as pretty, because obviously it's a pancake mix, as opposed to like a taiyaki mix, which has a lot of the similar things in it, but the taiyaki one would look prettier like this. Um, when you cook it. So I know this one's gonna make bubbles and stuff and it's not gonna be as smooth and pretty, but you know, something to try it out. Really, I'm just trying out the machine. So I am going to mix up some batter. Uh, I'm gonna make it a little bit, well, we'll see how thick it is. If it's a little bit thick, then you know, I wanna thin it out a little bit with a little more milk, a little more water. But let's, I'll make up a small batch and then see about how thick that is. And we'll go from there. So I'll, I'll open this guy up. And it has instructions all in, a different language. Oops. But as far as I can see, I mean, it was already out of the bag. It, there's nothing used about it, but who knows. But that's okay. So I'm gonna clean it up a little bit and then I'm gonna plug it in just so it starts warming up. Just has a regular plug. And when I come back, we'll get ready to actually start assembling these guys and baking them up. Okay, so the green light comes on, which is kind of interesting first, and then the red light turned on, so I guess that means it's ready, but you'd think it'd be the opposite way, but... So here we go. And I'm just gonna get a paper towel, because I don't have, like, a... I don't know, I don't really like reusing brushes, or maybe a silicone brush, but it's not my thing, so... And then, I don't know what happened to my spray right now that I've moved back into my kitchen, so I'm just gonna get a little bit of oil on here and just be very careful. It's supposedly a non-stick coating, but, you know, still just gonna run some of this oil on here very carefully all right so you can also get this into a bottle which i did buy a bottle for it um while i was supposedly going to use this before and i don't know what i put them you know or even like an old like any kind of bottle that you can squeeze bottle but what we're going to do is put a little bit down at the bottom not too too much sorry if this thing's in the way and i'm going to spread it out a little bit with my fork because if it overflows, that's fine. And actually, that stuff tastes good because it's nice and crispy in that area. But just kind of getting this in here. Maybe need a little bit more in the tail section. We're going to top it off with a little bit more anyway, just so that it can reach all the sides. But you see, because it's pancake, it's already, like, poofing up. And then I'm just going to take a little dab of Nutella and then some... Uh, and a little dab. I mean, this space is obviously kind of small, so just a little Nutella. Just plop that in there. A little bit more for the next one. I can probably use a little bit more, but that's okay. And then some bananas that I cut halfway and then even smaller. So I have a feeling this is really going to overflow. <laughs> Alright, let's just do that. And then you top it off with a little bit more of your pancake mix but this time it's already cooking up you hear that or you see that it's like falling off <clears throat> excuse me it's pretty full okay now we're going to close it up Oh, hear that sizzle and lock your little thing here and to be honest I don't know what that uh, instruction says so <clears throat> I'm assuming it's probably going to take like 3 to 5 minutes like most little these kind of machines so I'll just, you know, check back in a few minutes, like, it has some information here. I'll use one of those translating apps where you kind of put it on top and see what it says. Because, I mean, there's not even numbers on here that I see, except for these guys. But, okay, so I'm just going to wait, like I said, maybe three to five minutes. I'll check it at three minutes, and then I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like at that point, and we'll see.
Okay, my alarm just went off for three minutes. Let's pop this open. Ooh. Oh my gosh, those are perfect. And I know it's gonna be cooked through because it's not that thick. Oh, that's my timer still going off. That's a KitchenAid microwave. I was gonna mention to you guys, I've been loving my KitchenAid uh, products, but look at that. Um, let me turn this off. It'll keep, you can have different um, sounds, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm just gonna grab this. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Close it up. And you're supposed to eat them when they're still pretty warm. But you can also wait a little bit and then cut this off. But what I'm saying is that this is going to be yummy on its own. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, it tastes like pancake. If you had a sweeter mixture, which is normally what you would use, it's a little bit sweeter. The um, If you're making batter from scratch, it'd be just yummy like a cone almost. But look how perfectly cooked those are. Oh my goodness. That is so cool. So I'm just going to keep making batches of this. Um... I'll open one for you in just a little bit because I'm going to give this to my son and I don't want to eat it right now yet because I'm going to keep cooking so I don't really want to tear into one. But I'll open one for you with some music over in just a second. And um, thanks for watching. So yeah, it's a D-Stylist Taiyaki maker and it looks super cute. Bye now.